questions about like, why or how or what got you into it. Okay. I, Could you scooch in just a little bit because I don't want to keep asking but, <laughs> and uh, my hearing is gone because people have been shouting in my ears all night. <laughs> <laughs> What got you interested in voice acting? What got me interested in voice acting? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I uh, I loved cartoons, and um, I just I would hear different funny voices on TV and uh, try to impersonate them, whether they were celebrities or Bugs Bunny or different types of characters. And uh, I used to drive my folks crazy with it all the time, so just run around the house and do different voices. And, um, I, when I was in college, I got involved in theater, and I started doing that, and um, I bounced around a lot uh, from job to job because I wasn't really sure, you know, if I was, the acting thing was going to work out, and uh, the, the voice acting just kind of worked out because, I mean, I've done stage work and I've done some indie film work, but the voice work has really been, like, something that's worked really well for me, so... Um, is it hard for you to get into character? It depends on the character. Um, some characters are a little harder on my voice. I've uh, done a variety of different, usually things like creatures and gravelly type of things are, are harder on the voice, so I try not to do this for long periods of time, otherwise I'll pull out my voice. Uh, characters like Brock for Pokemon is easy. I do it every week, so I'm just kind of used to it. I'm in that group. Uh, sometimes I'll work on a show and it'll be like a direct video and there'll be several volumes. And like we'll do the first volume and then it might be months before we go back to it. And they're like, okay, this is the character and I'll have to like listen to it and just go over it to try to make sure I'm in the right place so it doesn't sound off. Because when you go and watch it, if you watch the series all the way through and suddenly it sounds weird, you know, it'll be because it was a couple months since I recorded one to the other. But that's why we just, we're really uh, sticklers to make sure that we stay where we're supposed to be. And um, what is your favorite part about being a voice actor? My favorite part of being a voice actor is uh, I just have a great time doing it. And I've done, I mean, I, I love doing all sorts of acting, stage, film, voice. It's, it's all great. But voice acting just is very dear to me. Uh, again, because when I was a kid, I just I always loved cartoons. I'm an anime fan, and uh, it just I love creating stuff that makes people happy, and especially with working on a show like Pokemon, there's my my credit with the kids has gone up. Like uh, there's there's a lot of uh, I have a, a, a ten year old niece, and all of her friends are like, oh, you know Brock, you know, <laughs> and so it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, uh, it's like when my mom told me that um, like new you person, I was like, oh my god, he knows Brock, he's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me, and I did the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Mike knew me before I was Brock, so I'm sure he was just like, ah, it's just Bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you find yourself getting lost into your character? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Kelly. I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, do you find yourself getting lost in your character? Um, you mean like, do I, I go home and think I'm Brock, or do I go home and think I'm uh, Krogunk, or something like that? No. Um, I love Krogunk. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I, I actually get really into it and flail around a lot when I'm doing the Pokemon creatures in the booth. And uh, in that case, yeah, I get a little carried away and get a little uh, jumpy. But, um, but yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a fun release, especially like if you're having a stressful week, you get to just go and, and have a great time, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's honestly, I've tried like voice acting different characters, not just from like Pokemon, from other like various like animes. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have that high pitched voice that most people have, it's like I want to do like guys. And, um, how do you get into your character? Well... Do you exercise before you do it? Yeah, I mean, there's vocal exercises that I do uh, just to get myself ready and my instrument ready. Um, breathing exercises, vocalizations, things like that. I, I've worked with vocal coaches in the past and, and gotten into a pretty good regimen. Um, it's... 
like psychologically, it's not a. Uh, uh, guys, we're, we're doing a interview thing here. Sorry. Um, it's a. Uh, it's it's. Uh, it's. Yeah, I mean, there's just the, the, the daily regiments, and I live in New Jersey and work in the city, so I have that train ride to kind of get myself into that mental pace and get myself ready. I don't sit there and, and plan around. I do the vocal exercises before I get on the train. Sometimes I drive up to uh, another studio that's up in Tarrytown, and when I do that, it's just strange, strange crazy voices all the way up the, uh, up the parkway. But... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, back back before the days of Easy Pass, I used to scare a lot of people with the tags. But it's all good. <laughs> um, what it, actually, I'm gonna switch these ones. Which character is the hardest for you to get into? Again, the, the characters that are more gravelly and rough on the voice are really hard to do. I played Lucario in Super Smash Brothers, and. When we did that, there was a lot of uh, attack, 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 like just over and over and over again for a couple hours. And by the end of that, I was so hoarse. I was like out for like three days because I just I couldn't speak. It was just bad. But um, hmm? uh, so it's like Link kind of with all these random screaming. Yeah, when you when you play the game and you see that uh, like the character is doing an attack. That's come from several takes of just, you know, it's, it's a hard punch, soft punch, you know, but then like we have to hard punch a bunch of times until the director's like, okay, that's, that's the one that's good, we have enough, we can isolate that, we can do that. And uh, it's just a lot of the same things over and over again. So those, those handful of attacks that you hear, there's probably an actor that spent a couple hours working on those. And, um... Which one of your characters is your favorite to be? My favorite is actually Tanaka. It's from a series called Ichiken, and that's an anime about anime fans. And um, I really like the show because when I was in college, I was in an anime club, and I, when I watch the show, I see a lot of the, the kids in that, and I'm like, I knew that guy, and that guy, and that guy, and that guy. And, and I was that guy. <laughs> But um, it's a lot of fun because uh, it, 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 it holds a personal meaning for me. And uh, what did you say the name of the show is? Genshiken. G-E-N-S-H-I-K-E-N. We know what we're watching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say the, the humor gets a little racy from time to time. It's a 16 over series, so I don't know how old you girls are. 17. All right. It's good. It's all, it's all just, you know, fun PG-13 rating humor. Um, last question, what would you give, like, what advice would you give for a beginner voice acting? Beginner voice acting, um, you, you can never get enough experience. And a lot of people figure that they'll just study, go to schools, after school, school. And schooling's great, don't get me wrong. I mean, I took a lot of acting classes, and uh, I continue to try to further my craft through classes and working on shows and different things. But that's the other thing. Uh, a lot of people don't think about it, the, the practical application. Whether you're doing a high school play, or a college play, or community theater, uh, do an indie film, do student film, you know, there's, there's lots of college students that when you're in college, I actually, we, uh, Michelle and I were my friends that does Pokemon and, and Michigan and a couple of other shows, we actually go and talk to the kids at NYU, we talk to the, uh, the students that are like the future engineers and, and directors, and we discuss with them, they, they want to know like, well, what's an actor look for in a director, and what's an, and I always say, you guys should be working with the students, because there's a whole bunch of acting students out there that need practical, real-life experience, so what I would say is, take the classes, get out there and do it, because that's, that's awesome. the thing. Yeah. Um, uh, this isn't really one of the questions, but can you please sing the old Jenny Overpodge or song? Unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> It's, it's been a fun one. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you.